Soil erosion presents a serious threat to agriculture throughout Queensland. Soils provide essential nutrients and structure for plants to thrive. When soil disappears from landscapes, it directly contributes to loss in farm productivity. Improving soil health and ground cover on properties is possible for any landholder. In Queensland, most erosion occurs during high intensity rainfall events such as thunderstorms and cyclones. The longer the event and the more intense it is, the more runoff is likely to occur and therefore the more soil erosion. The first step in controlling this erosion is by reducing the amount of runoff from these events. And the way we do that is to maximise infiltration into the soil using vegetation. Once the rainfall intensity exceeds your infiltration rate, then you start to get runoff. And once you have that runoff, then that must be controlled using appropriate methods, otherwise you're going to get soil erosion. Gullies form when water cannot penetrate the earth and instead concentrates in narrow pathways between grass or along animal trails. As the speed of the water increases, it becomes more erosive, cutting deeper and deeper into the soil. When water can infiltrate into the earth due to good soil texture and organic matter, it rehydrates the land and minimises the likelihood of gullies forming. There are a number of factors that affect the erosion in a, in a landscape. Many of them are act totally natural, and these include the uh, topography, the slope of the land, the shape of the land, where the water's running, how far it's running, how fast it's running in the natural drainage lines, and also the total area of a catchment that's uh, in, uh, contributing to a drainage line, which might be affecting the water running into a, a erosion in a creek or a gully or even a farm track. Remember while you're uh, looking at the catchments that uh, the steeper the catchment, the faster the water's going to flow and the larger the catchment, the more water you're going to be dealing with. So they're the basic principles around looking at what water's going through any particular erosion site. Soils are the other significant factor that you need to look at in the landscape. Probably the most significant really. Soils can range from sandy to hard setting and the sandy soils like at the beach let water go in very quickly. The hard setting loamy and silty soils don't let much water go in very easily at all unless they've got grass and cover on them. So knowing which soil type is, is on your surface of your soil will have a big difference in how much water is going to run off or infiltrate into the landscape. The, uh, the key point around soil and your landscape is the keeping the topsoil in place, keeping those few 10 to 15 centimetres of the topsoil in place with plenty of grass on it through your management of the vegetation because once you get into the subsoils, even if it is the same type of soil down through the profiles, as soon as you get away from that fertile top 10 to 15 centimetres, you're starting to get into the areas where it's erosive and you'll lose soil quickly. Looking at a soil that has a topsoil and a subsoil, which is the texture contrast or duplex, the one way of testing whether or not they're badly erosive is to take some of the soil from the topsoil and some of the soil from the subsoils and put them into a clear plastic container filled with water, either tank water or deionized water, and just drop them in and you'll find if the topsoils normally hold together in a nice neat bundle and the subsoils will usually dissipate and slump onto the floor, then you know you've really got that bad erosive subsoil. It's the indicator that you need to be very, very careful about how you manage those soils and don't let that subsoil get exposed. Because if you have them exposed, it's a lot of work to get them recovered and revegetated and stabilised. All human activities, including food production, have the potential to initiate and worsen erosion. What might start as a cattle track along a fence line can quickly turn into a gully. A gully is defined as an erosion pathway which is greater than 30 centimetres deep with active erosion on the walls and the head. Gullies are considered the worst stage of the soil erosive process because they do permanent damage to the landscape. Most landscapes across Queensland will eventually generate surface runoff during extended or intense rainfall events. To minimise runoff and prevent gullies from forming, property planning and ongoing monitoring is key. 
When managing your property, it's important to have erosion in mind, particularly when it comes to tree grass balance and biodiversity in your pasture. This means that you'll have a sustainable production system and you'll have a healthy ecosystem. When property planning to prevent erosion, it's important to keep in mind the location of water points, fences, tracks and laneways. The Net Mary Regional Group and Fitzroy Basin Association work in Queensland with local landholders to prevent erosion and heal damaged land. Interested in learning more? Landholders located in the Fitzroy or Burnett Mary regions are welcome to collect a gully erosion manual from FBA or BMRG. The manual includes detailed information to help you adopt best practice prevention and rehabilitation methods on your property.